You know, when the allegations against IHOP KC Prophet Bob Hartley, and I'm using Prophet only because that's what he likes to call himself. Not that I believe that, nor do probably most of you watching. But, you know, when the allegations came out about him in January from Michelle Seidler about all of the inappropriate behavior that he was involved with and how Seidler just kept putting out story after story of all these various women who had, you know, contact with Bob over the years. I said, this guy is done. He's absolutely done. And to be honest with you, I didn't think it'd get worse. I really didn't. But now we have his own son, Jedediah, who is coming out and just exposing this guy even more, even getting down to the tactics of how he used, you know, false prophecies to, you know, to get these women and the people that helped him along the way. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. But now you have Bob Hartley responding to his son, Jedediah, in what was a completely just incoherent, rambling statement that he gave. I'm going to try and break it down for you. It's actually quite sad uh, when you take a look at Bob Hartley and uh, how he has chosen to conduct himself and also defend himself despite everything that's come out. We'll get into it. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, blind Christian guy here reporting to you and reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. Yep, for someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story about how I went blind and how I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? Hey, I made a video that explains it all. I include a link to that in the description section of all my videos, so that's there for you. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. A few different ways you can do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video here, make a contribution that way, or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description joining patreon you get all the videos before they ever hit the main yt platform you'll also get some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss some that yeah i got to include on patreon for obvious reasons but while you're there too you can you know comment censorship free on all videos even send me dms so check it out again it's patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so thank you as well your generosity is Greatly appreciate it. So Jedediah has been just going on a tear, really, on his ex account, exposing his father, Bob Hartley, as a false prophet. And, well, Bob himself has responded to his own son and what he had to say. Now, he put out his own, you know, video on YT, and, and I'm not surprised by this at all because he turned the comments off and uh well because he didn't want well, let's just be honest well after you watch this video let me just say this uh you'll probably understand why he turned the comments off because uh he would have been just absolutely thrashed by people who actually watch this uh just disgrace here on display from bob hartley so he was somewhere in california when he made this video um and he's you know he starts off and i'll just say this the guy sounds completely drunk, okay? And, and probably on some medication as well. Uh, I'll, I'm going to put the link to the video here in the description so you, you can watch that for yourself. As I, I, I'm going to discuss it here, but you, you got to listen to this man because, uh, you know, again, it, it shows you how this is not someone that really wants a relationship with the Lord. This is somebody who is operating out of his flesh, who is continuing to make defenses, about the accusations that are now against him and also somebody that really has shown no signs of genuine repentance. It's very similar actually to Mike Bickle, if you think about it. But then again, Bob Hartley and Mike Bickle have been tied together for a long time. In fact, at one point here, Hartley even says that he is more than happy to hitch his wagon to Mike because it's all about being loyal. This is again, this is a man who's saying this. After everything that we now know about Bickle that's come out, here he is, you know, as of March of 2024, and he's talking about, I'll still hitch my wagon to Mike because it's about being loyal and, you know, and, and, until things are actually proven, until things are proven. What are you talking about? 
this is a bad look right here to keep in, you know, endorsing Mike Bickle on top of all of your own indiscretions. Dude, you got some issues, my friend. You got some issues. Well, here in the video, he's talking about how his son has recently been talking about him. And, you know, Jedediah has garnered like millions of, of views and interactions on his posts about his father. And Bob talks about how he loves his son and my son is my friend and I'm, I'm proud of him. And he, you know, talked about even the book that Jedediah wrote about him and how he recently saw Jedediah uh, as recent as January. Although Jedediah says that he has not had any contact with his father uh, since then. There were apparently a couple of demands that Jedediah put on Bob Hartley if he wanted to continue to have a relationship with him. Now, Jedediah says here that, you know, he seemingly has agreed to two of those demands, but he would not be willing to agree to what was the last one. Now, he didn't say specifically what that was, but Jedediah told him that, okay, if you're not willing to agree to that last one, then I can't have a relationship with you. Now, my guess is that it's probably something to do with him, you know, genuinely repenting or even potentially turning himself in because Jedediah has called for criminal charges against his father for everything that he has done. And I I couldn't agree more. They absolutely, This man should be in jail. Look, he is a danger to himself and others. And as he continued on in this video, you can see why. Now, he even blamed at one point medication for some of his recent actions. He talked about the heart surgery that he had and and that's something too, by the way, that he said when he put out those other rambling videos back in January, when Michelle Seidler was bringing up all those stories and exposing him for, you know, just being a complete pred, if you know what I mean. He also tried to blame the medication then. But you know, the, the guy sounds, again, completely drunk, completely, you know, hopped up on something, all medication. He talked about medication here. He's going from story to story again, talking about hitching his wagon to Mike. But then he addressed... What, what uh, his son said about him being a false prophet. He goes, but now I heard my son, Jedediah, call me false. And he goes, and that hurts me. That makes me sad because it's just not true. He knows better. He knows better. <laughs> he knows better than to call you a false prophet, but you are a false prophet. It's been proven and he's been exposing you as one. He even talked about the fact that he didn't want to do it. But he said this is the time because he doesn't want anybody else to be hurt by this man and what he's been doing for his entire time in so-called ministry. He talked about how, you know, you know, the, the truth, the, the truth is being harmed and it's not being properly told. And there's just negative things that are being written about me. And I may not be perfect, but look, a lot of this stuff just isn't true. And my son knows better than to call me a false prophet. I just, I, this guy is, is truly unbelievable. He, he goes into more ramblings about how he used to be a wrestler and it's other things about um, like concussions and CTE and all these other things. Just, again, you know, if it wasn't for knowing what this man has done to women, you could almost feel sorry for him. I, I can't though. I can't. You listen to him though and it's just, it's just sad. It's pathetic. But look, there have been people that have tried to help him, but he has refused that. So you can't say that people have not tried when it comes to Bob Hartley. Even recently, because this is something else that Jedediah talked about, because we know that Bob Hartley, you know, he was banned from the prayer room at IHOP KC. They announced that back in January, you know, once all the allegations about him were being put out there by Seidler. So he was banned from the prayer room because he was in the prayer room just as recent as December of 2023. Okay, and of course, you know, for, if you don't know the history of Bob Hartley with IHOP KC, although he was never a formal leader there, he was very instrumental in helping to pay for a lot of the land that was used to help, you know, put IHOP KC together. He brought trailers in for the IHOP, IHOP KC offices. So he handled a lot of the funds when he came to that place. But yeah, there he was in December of 2023. And he's he's in the prayer room and he's talking about 50 days of a, a prayer and, and for reconciliation, all these things were just, and then all those allegations came out and then he put out those drunk rambling videos trying to, uh, trying to defend himself. But even recently, Jedediah talked about the fact that, well, he may not be in the prayer room anymore, but he's over at Bethel church because, well, Bob Hartley, look, he found, he found a home 
in IHOP KC, but also at Bethel and with Bill Johnson. And Jedediah talked about how he sent several emails to Bill Johnson and other Bethel leaders in security saying, look, my father is parading around your, your church and he's he was doing the same things. He was talking to women again. He was trying to get their information. He was inviting them over to his house and saying, oh, I'm Prophet Bob Hartley. Why don't you come on over to my house? I mean, you even had Johnson save him a seat at their prophetic conference that they recently had. And then came just what was one of the most disgusting things. And and this is something that Hartley, Bob Hartley posted himself. He's at one of these Bethel services and he's seemingly drunk again. And, and he's talking to like a little three or four year old. What? Get, get this man away from these little ones, please. He should be nowhere near women or kids. Bottom line, he should be in jail. But apparently Bill Johnson and other leaders at Bethel are okay with Hartley parading around their services and, 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 and sniffing around for his next one that he can, you know, manipulate and other things. So again, this just this whole thing is sad, but you know what? Good on Jedediah for continuing to expose his father. And I'm going to have some more information on this here very soon, probably in another video. So uh, make sure you check the channel for that. And again, I will have the link here in the description. Uh, you can <laughs> watch, listen to this Hartley response to his son, Jedediah. Um, yeah, it's truly sad. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. We all need that. It's part of my ministry outreach. What this is, is an altar call. I've been doing this, wow, on my videos since 2016 now. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church and exposing the false prophets, I do it because, you know, we're in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. A lot sooner than many of us think. Because for anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. The Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget, the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews, or just hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make your contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.